Hi artists, let's mix some colors today. How many colors can you make? We have blue, magenta, and yellow. We also have a sponge and some water so that we can wash our brush in between different colors. I am going to use my paintbrush to pick up a little bit of this magenta and I'm gonna put it on my paper. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to wash my brush really well in the water. Notice I am swirling it, I am wiping it on the bottom of the cup, and then I am drying it off. Now I'm going to pick up some yellow and I'm gonna mix it in. You can see that the yellow and magenta together are creating orange. Now I'm going to wash my brush and try to make a new color. Now that my brush is clean and I've dried it off, I'm going to pick up more of the magenta. Again, I'm going to put it on my paper and then wash my brush. No one else wants to share mixed up yucky colors. Now I'm going to pick up a little bit of the blue and see what happens. The magenta and blue together are making purple. If you feel like your purple is a little bit too close to blue, you could add more red. If you feel like your purple is a little bit closer to red, you could add more blue. We are experimenting with colors today. Here, instead of washing my brush right away, I am going to make another spot with that purple color I already have. This is a little bit lighter because there's a little bit less paint on my brush now. I'm still going to wash my brush and then get a new color. Here I'm using yellow and blue to make green. I am remembering our book Mouse Paint where the little mice are tracking paint all over the place so I made some little mouse prints on my paper as well. Here I'm doing some more experimenting and then I am going to use the extra paint to create some little mouse footprints all over my paper. If you have extra paint on your brush, you can also experiment and see what it looks like when you have less paint on your brush. Now that I have experimented and tried to make a few different colors, I am just going to use some of the colors that I already have, some of those primary colors, to create some more interest on my paper. When you are done painting, please put your brush in the dirty brush bucket, take your water cup to the sink, and refill it with clean water halfway for the next friend. Then you can take your art and put it on the drying rack. We will let this art dry so we can do more with it later.